Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. And it's going to be represented by this tailor over here who has all these suits over here. So suits are going to remind us of pseudo-pseudo. And if you know, this guy over here is half hippo, half parrot. So we're talking about pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. There are only three things that we need to be aware of for pseudo-pseudo-hyperparathyroidism. And those are the following. Let's take a look at the back of the room over here. You'll notice this domino over here that's randomly on the wall. This domino is going to help us remember that it's inherited in autosomal dominant fashion, just like pseudo-hypoparathyroidism type 1. Let's talk about the second thing we want to be aware of. Take a look at his hands. You might have noticed that his fourth and fifth digits are short. That's because he has a condition known as Albright hereditary osteodystrophy. This condition is associated with pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism, just as it's associated with pseudo-hypoparathyroidism type 1. Other features of this condition include round face, subcutaneous calcifications, short stature, and developmental delay. And the third thing we want to be aware of is that lab values in pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism will be normal. Parathyroid hormone will be normal, calcium will be normal, phosphate will be normal, and that's because there's no end organ resistance to PTH as there is in pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. This is due to the process of imprinting in the GNAS gene. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video on pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. Please subscribe to the channel and take care.